Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, I'm going to do a tech talk today on a subject I, <laughs> I know comes up a lot. Even in my small market here, um, I'll, see, I, I'll see this happen at least a half a dozen times a year. And, and it's an expensive mistake. And um, I'm on part of uh, several RV forums on Facebook. And there was a post uh, just this morning about this, this same subject. Uh, what is it? It is plugging your camper into an unknown 30 amp receptacle. If you have a 30 amp RV, this is an issue that happens a lot, way too often. If you have a 50 amp RV, this is not an issue at all. It's only for 30 amps, which are still a lot of them out there. All right, so what am I talking about? All right, a 30 amp receptacle, especially if it's wired into a house, uh, or a garage or you just call an electrician and you say hey I need a 30 amp receptacle right here he's automatically automatically going to think to wire that thing 220 and if it's already an existing 30 amp plug in a garage or a, a shop uh, or garage it could be wired 220 for a welder or something like that welder air compressor a lot of a lot of things that you will use uh, in a house dryer <laughs> forgot about the dryer a lot of things you will use in a house or a garage are is it's a 30 amp appliance but it's wire 220 campers will have a little sticker right where the shore cords at that says hey this is 30 amp 110 volts some people just miss that so how how do you know the difference uh, if you're getting ready to plug into a, an unknown receptacle, say you've, uh, you know, you, you did hire an electrician and maybe you weren't there when he wired it uh, to, to wire you a 30 amp receptacle, or you're visiting with someone for the holidays or whatever, and they go, oh, hey, I got one of those plugs right here you can plug your camper into. Or, um, like, say you just you, you own a house, you just bought a camper. Oh, look, that plug's the same. All right, how can you tell, you know, wh what's this what? Okay, the easiest thing to do would be to have you a multimeter and just test it. Um, now, this, this one I have drawn out here, this one is wired 220, which is not good for RVs, okay? What you're going to have is you're going to have a ground wire in your 30 amp receptacle, and it's gonna go over to your panel box. This is your utility, power from utility, your panel box. Of course, you're gonna have a lot more breakers in there, but I just try to keep it simple, okay? So you're gonna have a ground wire come over from your receptacle into your ground box to where all the other ground wires go. Now, what's gonna happen though, if this is wire 220, is you're gonna have a double breaker, and it will probably say, it will probably th say 30 amp. On the, on the little toggles where you uh, cut it on and off, all right? But it's gonna be a double breaker, like I said, and it's gonna have one leg of 110 volts, goes over to one of those uh, terminals in that 30 amp plug, and it's also gonna have another leg of 110 volt AC power going to the other leg. So, all right, simple math. 110 plus 110 is what? 220 not 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 good for campers at all trust me i see this too often um but yeah do not plug your camper into this if it's wired that way now if you have a multimeter like i say the quickest way is just put a lead from your multimeter in this side and another lead in that side if it says 220 go plug in okay if it says uh I'm trying to think what it'll read I think doing that, it won't read. I, I forget what it reads. But if it, if you don't get 220 when you do that, go from the ground to one of these legs, and one of them should say 110. The other one will say uh, nothing because it's going to be a neutral. So let me draw, let me draw this out for you, the way it should be wired for a camper, a 30 amp receptacle that is. All right. Before we take a look at uh, a correctly wired 30 amp receptacle for your RV. Let me just mention real quick, we have new shirts available. This is one of the designs. 
and these uh these two new t-shirt designs will only be available until christmas uh, that's the back this is the front of course it has the the hillbilly logo on the front now those shirts like i said will only be available to christmas so if you want to get one you better get it now let me let me clear up something real quick before we move to the correctly wired 30 amp receptacle for your rv now in order to see in this panel box wherever your panel box is at in your house or garage or whatever you'd have to take the cover off okay take the front front of it off now if you're not comfortable doing that i bet you know somebody or you can hire somebody to take a look at it for you um but in order to see if how this thing is wired you will have to look inside that box all right so now let's move to a one that is correctly wired for an rv is now it's going to be 110 volts still 30 amp but it'll only be 110 volts or 120 same thing okay they're interchangeable 110 120 220 240 all the same thing okay so don't get hung up on the numbers that i say they're they're all the same all right now you're still going to have your ground just like it was wired incorrectly for your rv only thing is you're only going to have one 110 volt uh, ac leg and it'll come over and it'll go to a single uh, breaker probably 30 amp all right the other part of the leg in this receptacle is going to be in neutral and it's going to come over to your box and go to the neutral bar where all the other neutrals all right typically your grounds are going to be bare or green your neutrals are going to be white your loads are going to be black okay but you you just you can't go by that uh solely you, you just can't you can't go by that solely you know you can't just look in your receptacle and go oh wait there's a green there's a black and a white so it must be right no let me show you why that can be wrong because like i say the only way to really tell you know i mean two ways test it with a multimeter or go into your panel box and see how it's wired because even now <laughs> it whether this is wired 220 or 110 the wire colors are probably going to be the same like i say your ground is going to be green most probably uh one of these legs is going to be black all right if it's 110 that's going to be the hot leg the other one is probably going to have white wire on it all right can't spell white all right now the only difference is the white wire will either go to a neutral bus bar for 110 volt or the white wire will go to a double breaker for 220 okay does any of this make sense i certainly hope so um because like i say this is a something we see constantly um and you know apparently by going by these facebook forums it happens a lot you know outside of my area too <laughs> um but it's a, it's a costly mistake uh the, i mean you just instantly plug plug your 30 amp 110 volt camper into a 30 amp 220 volt receptacle guaranteed you just smoke the converter so that's going to cost you 300 and some dollars 300 dollars to replace that plus whatever labor you might have to pay for most likely going to get your microwave will probably get your tvs and sometimes it will get um uh, fuses or uh or your board on your on your refrigerator board if you have an absorption refrigerator um if you have a residential refrigerator haven't really run across this one yet i haven't because most most any the camper that's going to have a residential refrigerator is probably going to be 50 amp maybe that's why i haven't run across that but i would expect a residential refrigerator would not like that as well anything with electronics in it it's not going to like just does not like being plugged into twice the amount of voltage that was designed to handle so yeah so yeah um i hope this makes sense i'll go in here and start editing this and uh if it don't make sense to me i may reshoot some of this but hopefully it makes sense to you and um, maybe save you from uh, a very costly mistake so that's all i got for today uh 
Don't forget to check out the link below if you want merch. Uh, besides the shirts, we got we got hoodies um, and can koozies and a couple of little odds and ends. All hats, the leather patch hats. Now they're gonna be available after Christmas, but the t-shirts only available to Christmas. Get yours now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.